What's up, Homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Another episode of Off Grid Cooking with Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy. And today we're making apple. <laughs> it's apple lemon honey jam. Apple lemon honey jam. All right, what you got? Okay, so we I had gotten a whole bunch of apples, um, seconds on the apples, and um, some of them were getting kind of icky. So the last few, I thought I'd go ahead. I had made apple cider vinegar and had done some applesauce. So now I'm going to um, finish it up and make some of this jam. So what I did was I took the apples and I cut them up kind of small in little cubes. And right now I used about three lemons. Now... It depends how much apples you have. When you read the recipes, sometimes it'll say four cups, five cups, six cups, 12 big ones, you know, eight small ones or whatever. Whatever you got, you know, do with what you have and, and taste it and kind of see what works for you. But this is, I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, it could be about eight, nine, ten cups of apples. Eight cups maybe. And um, I just put three lemons in it. So depending on your taste, I like the lemon juice in it. Apples are very high in pectin, so I'm not going to be using any pectin or anything in this, and the lemons will help with that. But I'm going to start off with my apples, and I put three whole lemons, and I squeezed them in here. And here's the last one. So I just squeezed them all in there, and then stir it up a little bit. And then, it, usually when you're making your jams and jellies, you put a lot of sugar in them. I don't like to put a whole lot of sugar in mine. So this would normally call for like four cups if you're going to use this many apples, but I'm just going to put a couple cups in here. Okay. What kind of sugar? Just raw, raw, unprocessed sugar, raw sugar. So you put that in there and then about a half a cup of water because you want it to kind of juice up. So I'm going to just let this set, the sugar, the apples, the lemon, and that little bit of water on the counter. I'll cover it. Um... And here is a lemon seed. Make sure you get your lemons out, lemon seeds out. And I'm going to let it sit on the counter so it gets all juicy for about an hour. And then I'll be back and we'll put it in the pot with the honey and let it cook and get ready to make some yummy jam. I will see you in a little bit. All right, so an hour has passed. And so my apples were sitting in their lemon juice and um, some sugar, got a little juicy. And then I'm gonna put them in a pot. And the one thing to remember when you do make something, especially with sugar and sweet jellies, if you make it like on a stock pot that doesn't have a bottom, you know, a thicker bottom, it usually is stick to the bottom. So you need a, a, a good pot, good bottom. Now I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna put some cinnamon in this one. You don't necessarily have to, I've done it before where you um, didn't put cinnamon, but I'm gonna put cinnamon in it to give it a little zing. But it's your choice. And then I did a cup of honey. Mm -hmm. Liquid, liquid gold. gold, yeah. Doug did one about our bees called liquid gold, a video. And he will link it below. How about? What? Above. All right. So, here's my honey. And here's my apples. I'm going to put it on the stove from anywhere to about 25 minutes to 45 minutes or so. And um, you want it to be kind of like a translucent. It'll start to bubble a little bit. Um, since I put the cinnamon in it, it's not going to get so translucent -y, but you can see the texture changing. So I'm going to put it on the stove, and then I will be back in a little bit and show you what starts to happen. Okay, so can All you right. see that? So what I did was, it was about 45 minutes, I, I boiled it, and then I got you the scum. You boiled it? I boiled it, and I got the scum off of it, and then I kind of mashed it up a little bit. And what's neat about it, letting it sit for about an hour with the lemon juice on it and the sugar really makes the apples get mushy, because usually when, if you ever try to make apple jams or jellies, it's hard to get the apples mushed up. So it really helps. And I like a little chunks in them, so I kept them. But if I would have mashed them more, I could have made it really, really smooth. Want right. Yeah. Cool. So that's that. So I'm getting ready to bottle it. I went ahead and I poured boiling water over my jars to get them. Taco ready. night. Fajitas. We're having steak fajitas. 
So it's ready to go. So let's take that over. Ready? Follow me. Okay, my jars, I cleaned them, I boiled them. They're sitting in boiling water. They're ready to go. Ooh. Hot, 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 right? Some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. Okay, so then I'm going to put my little strainer guy there. So make sure your lids are clean. And then I'm going to get... Your rims of your jar yep. are and then, clean. And then I'm just going to put that on top. Do you reuse your lids, your canning lids? I do. You're always just checking to make sure the seals are good and everything? Yeah. Right. Because some people will say, don't reuse them, but you can. I do. And then I'll do things that I buy in the store. You can, you know, something like old Smuckers. Right. I do use those, they work great. I never did until the Amish, I was like, they're like, oh yeah, that works. We use them a couple times, so. So I wipe the rims, put the lid on, and then get ready. And then later on we'll hear those magical sounds. Ding, 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 ding. Right. And I really like this because I love the way the lemon, whoops, I think I got too much. The lemon tastes so yummy in it. Now that one I had to be extra careful because I got it on the rim. Because you don't want any contamination on the top to get in it. But and if, you if, you, if you had some stuff on the top and your, your can didn't totally seal up all the way, then you just use that one first, that's all. Or you would refrigerate it, right? Right. Or it, the problem is it could get bacteria and stuff in there, so, you know. Well, you just use it first. Right. It's and if they like, don't ding, if the, you, you're going to put it, yeah, you're going to... Yeah, you're it's not like you have to just, like, throw it away or something, like it's some kind of toxic disaster, I mean. <laughs> no. And this is good. You know, I try to use up all the apples. We've had them, and they were getting kind of mushy. We give them to the horses. I had some extras left over from my made apple cider vinegar, and that's not going to work. Here we go. So I like to try new things. This is done. You can make it both with cinnamon in it and not with cinnamon. Last time I did it without cinnamon. This time I did it with cinnamon and it really had a good taste. I already tasted it. And it tastes pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to let them set here. And they will ding. Hopefully in a little bit. And then I will have my... Apple lemon honey jam. And we can have weeks of enjoyment with it. So what coat. are you gonna do with the rest of it that's in the pot over there? Well I need to get more jars. I thought I didn't I didn't have enough jars. Okay, well we I'm showed. We'll yeah, show you guys saw it. So I'll just try to do this one. I need one more jar. Before it gets too cold. Yeah, you wanna do it while it's hot. Yeah. There was a song. Or that was Sound Like It Hot. I already with, sang it. With uh yeah, but there was also with, what's his name? Jack Lemon. What was it? And you have lemon in your sauce. Was it with Jack Lemon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you guys know how to make your uh, apple, lemon, what? Apple, honey, lemon. Jam. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Now you're jamming. I'm a jamming, jamming, jamming. All right, so we'll catch you on the next episode. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy, and then try it. It's good. Yep, try it. You'll like it. Another what's up old commercial reference. Yeah. Mikey, he likes everything. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs>